He was my director, my boss. And you were afraid for your job. I can't imagine what you were going through. Of course you can, George, because it never happened to you. You were seated next to Ms. Sorensen in your experience as an SVU lieutenant. What can you tell us? She was triggered. She was traumatized. In my opinion, she exhibited symptoms of a victim of sexual assault. But when you tried to follow up, she refused to speak to you? No, she had an emotional reaction, and then she backed down, which is not uncommon. Two days later, she did disclose that Harold Coyle had assaulted her? Yes. Thank you. Nothing further. That was well-timed, a spontaneous disclosure of assault when the SVU lieutenant was in the studio? And I believed her. Well, I'm sure. It's your experience to believe most victims at first disclosure, isn't it? Yes. Heidi initially reversed herself, saying she didn't mean what she said? Yes, but She didn't want to take your call, so you decided to pay her a personal visit at that point. Did she repeat her allegations or deny them? At that time, she did not want to cooperate. In fact, she only decided she wanted to cooperate when she found out she was being let go from HNT, correct? I do not think that her motivation was financial then, and I do not think it's financial now. Really? She was losing a $12 million a year job. But, as you said, you're a believer, Lieutenant. So. Is there a question here, Your Honor? Mr. Pace. No, nothing further. 